Hi, are you a business owner in Maryland, having just gone to the State Department of Assessments and Taxation website and found out that your LLC or corporation is not in good standing? I'm Katherine Taylor, the lawyer for business owners, and I'm going to explain to you why you might see that message and what you can do about it. Okay, so first, why are you seeing the message on the website that your entity is not in good standing? Most likely it's because you failed to either file a personal property tax return or file an annual report with the state of Maryland. Or it could be that you filed that personal property tax return, but you didn't pay the tax. Either of those situations will end up with the State Department stating that your company is not in good standing. You, fortunately, if it's only, if the status is only not in good standing, you can still correct it pretty easily. If you don't correct it, then the next step is charter forfeited, which is a harder problem to correct. But if it's only a not in good standing status, then what you need to do is go back and file the personal property tax returns or annual reports that have not yet been filed, pay the tax that has not yet been paid. And then after you do those steps, then you'll be able to convince the State Department that your company should now be in good standing and that not in good standing message should be removed. So again, if you find out that your company is not in good standing, don't freak out, make sure that you do those things that you should have done and pay any tax that you need to pay and everything should be fine. I'm Katherine Taylor, the lawyer for business owners. Subscribe to our channel for more tips on running your business. Thanks.